This week on My Classic Car, we'll travel to Amboy, Illinois for the Depot Days Car Show. This four-day festival celebrates small-town America, and the Sunday Car Show draws rods, customs, and classics from all over the Midwest. Plus, we'll check out the latest suspension upgrades for your ride. Hi, I'm Dennis Gage. Thanks for tuning in to My Classic Car, home of the Certified Car Nut. Well, this week we're in Amboy, Illinois for Depot Days. This is a classic small town America summer festival. Four days of fun that culminate in a car, truck, and motorcycle show on Sunday that raises money for Amboy's historic Train Depot Museum. I love this kind of show, and there are some really cool cars here today. Let me show you just a few of them. Well, Hank, you've uh, you got yourself a show here. Oh, you bet we have a show here. We have a show that is, you know, this is known far and wide, our show. And uh, with a day like today, you just can't miss. So how did it get started? This is our 18th year. And when we first started, it was uh, just a, a very small show, like everybody else's small show. But we capitalized on certain ideas throughout the uh, the years, and we try to add something new every year, and uh, and that's why you're here. <laughs> and it can't get any better than this. So, <laughs> well, she's so. How many cars? Well over 500, maybe 550. Well, that, you know, that's a lot of cars, and I'm seeing plates from Wisconsin and Iowa. I think I saw a Missouri plate. Our show is known far and wide. It's a quality show. It, it is, you know, and, and and again, it's such a great setting. What's the depot connection? The depot is a building over here that was an old railroad uh, building, and it was scheduled to be torn down. But a group of us decided to save that building, and in the last 18 years, we put over $200,000 of profits from the car show in this building. That's wonderful. I mean, that's, that's just great. It's a really cool place. I love this kind of show, you know, the small town America. We've got some great cars here. I've seen some. You're working, I'm working. But let's look at a few before we get too busy. Sure. Thank All right, you. Let's, let's go, go, man. Well, Spider, this is a sweet machine. This is a 37 Plymouth Coupe, right? Correct. How long you had it? Uh, it's like 18 years old. Wow. So like five, ten years, huh? Correct. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, you've done a lot of cool stuff to it. I mean, the you, you took your your hood ornament off, but your headlights are interesting. Yeah. What are those? They from? come out of a Mini Cooper. Really? We grafted parts of the fenders into the body of this one. Right. Really s smoothly done. They fit really nicely. Yeah. Like it turned out real good. And you got the uh, the uh, 37 air conditioning system here, the tilt-out windshield. Right. That was the first air conditioner ever built. <laughs> Looks like you took a bit of a hit, though. Yeah, coming down here, uh, a rock came flying from somewhere. Ooh. Well, you know, I, I also I really liked your interior. When I when I looked at it, you know, there was some there's some visual uh, tricks here. I mean, first of all, the seats are really interesting. I don't think I've ever seen them. What are they out of? Uh, out of the junkyard. Out of the junkyard. Uh, <laughs> what were they uh, in in the junkyard? An AMC Pacer. You're kidding. Yeah. There was something salvageable out of an AMC Pacer. Yeah. Wow. I'm like, and you, uh, but everything floats in here. It all levitates, right? I mean, your yeah. your seats float. Your your console even floats. Right. Everything's suspended off the floor. It's different. No one's done it before. Yeah. It's all steel. It's all steel. All steel. Man. So what are, you, what are you looking at? The 350 Chevy? 350 punched out to a 383 with uh -huh. a 671 blower, Holley 600 carbs, two of them. Man, I love your I love your intake too. I mean, that's that's cool. That's old school. That's where they were in the old days, and they're hard to come by. Guy makes only a thousand of them a year. But you got one. I got one. This is a great looking ride. Hey, Spider, thanks for bringing this Thank out. You, I like Dennis. your ride, man. Thank you. Coming up. We'll get back to Amboy, Illinois for the Depot Days Car Show. But first, we'll look at the latest suspension upgrades for your ride. My Classic Car is brought to you by Grundy Worldwide Collector Car Insurance.
Hey, in the shop with me today is my good buddy Rick Schmidt from National Parts Depot. Rick, how you doing, man? I'm doing great, Dennis. How many years have you been doing this? M more than probably either one of us would like to admit. <laughs> I don't keep counting, actually. <laughs> well, hey, uh, don't keep me in suspense. Are we going to talk about suspension? Sure, we're going to talk about <laughs> suspension today. Okay. I brought a really neat uh, kit uh, from Hotchkiss today that we've uh, that we've just uh, put uh, one of the as biggest a new names product. in suspension. One of the biggest and highest quality names in suspension. These are Hotchkiss Total Vehicle Systems. Oh. And a, the name a complete system. The name says it all. Uh, typically, uh, our customers have just been buying performance suspension mm -hmm. ad hoc. They they're buying one brand springs and uh, and another brand piece sway bar parts. and piecemealing their chassis together, with really no engineering way to determine the outcome of what they're going to do. They just figure I'm just going to buy all these pricey. It must work great. It at the must end. work great today. It doesn't always, though, does it? Hotchkiss has come out and actually engineered complete systems that you see right here for the front and the back of the car. Everything uh, tuned to work in concert with itself. They've done all the homework, they've done all the track testing with it, and all you need to do is buy the kit, plug it into your car over a day or a short weekend, and uh, and you're good to go with... Uh, well, you know, it's important too, because uh, these cars were great, they looked great, they had great straight line performance, they never did handle very well. And nowadays, if you, people want to drive their cars, yes, yeah, and people and, and and people are also used to the to the modern daily drivers that they're driving to work and back every single day, which handle wonderfully compared mm -hmm. to the cars of the '60s. In the '60s, you didn't know that the, these were the best handling cars. No, out there. you only knew what you knew. So <laughs> uh, you know, unless you unless you had some little you know, bug eye sprite import or something <laughs> like that. So. So this is the whole thing, and it's and it's it's engineered to 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 work in concert and and really do. Everything right for the car. Yes, from the spring rates to the uh, to the uh, strength of the uh, sway bars to the bushings all that they use. Everything has been uh, pre-engineered so, together. So what all's in, in in the total kit? If I was going to go in, for this, in the total kit, you see down here on the floor in front of us, we've got the uh, the front sway bar and the uh, rear springs. Those springs are one and a half inch lowering, and they're going to be working in conjunction with two inch lowering front coil springs. You've also got all your U bolts and and your uh, links for mounting the, the uh, sway bars. So all the hardware. But So your, your inch and a half lowering leaves, two inch lowering uh, Two inch lowering fronts. Up here. And obviously when you lower your front end by two inches, you're going to have uh, alignment and camber problems, so they toss in a negative wedge is kit. That, is that what all this is? That these, uh, these, these cut uh, Yeah, all those, funny, cut all those funny shaped uh, yeah. pieces of hardware all uh, are uh, uh, Bring your wheels back up into a into a proper upright position to where you can dial in the, the uh, alignment that you, you know, want, whether you, it be street or track. Yeah, probably or when you piecemeal some of this stuff, you end up not realizing that, and you, you you got it in, and all of a sudden you can't set your camera. Oh, you can go to a show, uh, you know, in in see any, in any tire? town, and you'll see guys who have lowered their cars and the insides of their tires <laughs> are just down to the cords. So. Now, how about the bushings? What'd they go with on uh, all polyurethane bushings, and uh, and where needed because sometimes polyurethane bushings can be prone to squeaking. The, these are all impregnated. Uh, with oil, and they're also greasable. They've got the Zerks already installed on all the brackets, and That's even great. and even in the uh, arms down there. I even so like the little grease caps and mm -hmm. protect them. And they yeah, uh, next time you grease nice them, you don't pump in some sand. Right? Easy to service. How about these guys? These are tie rod uh, adjusting sleeves, and uh, they're Hotchkiss. They're real heavy duty, and uh, and they give you the extra length you need so that you can uh, finish your alignment up once you've got the car lowered. So uh, so everything you need is in this kit. There's nothing left out. You're not going to be calling us back and saying, boy, I forgot, or I need It's all this. here. It's all here. Um, uh, throw your stock suspension car up on the lift or up on your jack stands, and uh, by Monday, you'll be handling like 100% better than fabulous, you did. The now. fabulous classic look, but the modern day handling. Yes. Oh, man, you got to love that. So, hey, if you want to learn anything more about this Hotchkiss Total Vehicle Suspension System from NPD, log on to MyClassicCar.com. And, man, it does make a difference. I love getting in a car that's had this done. It makes a huge difference. Visit EastwoodGarage.com, your trusted source for professional auto restoration tools and techniques for over 30 years. Still ahead, we'll get a look at more classic iron from the Depot Days Car Show in Amboy, Illinois. Welcome back to My Classic Car. Well, Gary, this is a beauty. This is a 39 Caddy. Yes, sir. What model is it? It's a 60 Special. Okay. Which was, uh, they <laughs> built the first one in 1938. It was a collaboration between Bill Mitchell, who was head of the Cadillac Design Studio, and Harley Earl from, who was head of GM. It is really elegant, and, and really some, some cool 
Uh, you know, I mean, the, the monstrous headlight buckets. Headlight buckets. Dual side mounts, but no running board. No running board. Cadillac and, and those two guys that designed this, they opened the cab up and widened it by several inches and got rid of the running board. And like you say, opened up. Boy, they opened up the top, too. Exactly. There's a monstrous it's got a big sunroof, sunroof in right. this thing. That's, uh, that's the model, the, the 6019 SA. <laughs> the SA refers to the fact that it's a sunroof car. Wow. Well, she's, I mean, she's just a beautiful interior, too. Big, right. luxurious car. Right. It's a big car. It's an adult car. You can sit six people very comfortably. In 38 was the first time they put the uh, the three on the tree. Before that, they gonna... had that vulgar thing sticking up out of the floor for you to <laughs> shift with. How wonderful. This this is a real party mobile for sure. Yep. Now, it's uh, is the color correct? It's kind yeah, of two-tone green? Cadillac called this their model 61 or their color code 61, and it's... Uh, Ludington Green and English Gray put together is what it was called. And it says V8. V8, yeah. that's right. They had a V8 in all of their cars except for the 90 series, which had a V16. Right. Let's have a look at that, baby. Okay, we can do that. Yeah, I love the hood opener. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> there she is, the, the, yeah. the flathead caddy, but I guess it's not a flathead. Well, Cadillac called it an L-head which is a little more descriptive of the of the combustion chamber shape. The cowling is real interesting here too. Yeah, I don't know for sure but uh, why this is so extensive, but in any case, it, it covers up all of the fins and the vanes that control the airflow through the radiator. And that's how Cadillac controlled the engine temperature was via the, the, the louvers rather than a thermostat in oh. the water flow. Oh, that's interesting. I, didn't, I actually didn't know that. But a great looking car. And I mean, is this, am I counting 48 stars here? That's what you're counting. That? That's what it was in 1939. Period correct? Period correct. <laughs> well, man, this is a beautiful cruiser, elegant, elegant car. Gary, I'm so glad you brought hey, it up. I appreciate man. it. Thank you very much. Beautiful car. Need parts for your next project? Then check out this week's Classic Car Marketplace. Need parts for your F-Series truck, Bronco, Classic Mustang, Camaro, Chevelle El Camino Malibu, or Firebird? Then get your free catalog from National Parts Depot, the nation's fastest restoration parts supplier. Call 888-893-FAST now for your free catalog or visit nationalpartsdepot.com. LMC Truck has the parts and accessories you need to restore or customize your truck or SUV, Chevy, GMC, Dodge, and Ford. Order your free catalog today by calling 1-800-715-8123. Be sure to specify your year, make, and model. Or shop online at lmctruck.com. LMC Truck has the right part at the right price right now. Aggie Machine and Speed Shop for nearly 100 years has transformed nostalgic engines with quality parts and services. Aggie now offers engine rebuilding with old world craftsmanship and modern technology. Visit Eggie's newly rebuilt website at eggie.com or call our seasoned experts at 866-587-Eggie. Next, we'll check out more wild rides at the Depot Days Car Show in Amboy, Illinois. Welcome back to My Classic Car. Well, Scott, this is an absolutely stunning ride. I mean, it's a 37... Ford, but it isn't. What is it? It's a 37 Ford Cabriolet, but it started out as a stock 37 fiberglass body uh -huh. and has been extensively modified. <laughs> yes, Windshield I la laid back 15 degrees. It's been stretched six inches, yeah. carved into the body lines. All the trim is handmade. It's all just scratch built. So basically. it's a complete from the from the from the ground up yep. scratch built car. The only original dimension is the hood. Really? That's it. <laughs> Well, what, what's the color? It's a 1998 Ford Explorer or Ranger <laughs> color. Stock wow. bright amber metallic, really? straight, straight wow. from the factory. You know, it looks better on this. Well, a little more <laughs> prep into it, yeah. Well, it, you know, you've got such a chop on this thing, it's almost hard to peer into it, but the interior is equally gorgeous. When you're driving, the blind spots are many. They're everywhere. They're right? everywhere. <laughs> we started in the dash with a 57 Chevy pickup truck bezel mm -hmm. and built the dash around that. The other thing is you, you got the kind of big little here. You got, what, 17s in front? How Se big are these in 17s back? 17s in front, 20s in back. And I love the look. I mean, the, you can see right through there. Where's the brake? The brakes are next to the differential. Those are all inboard brakes. It's a height super ride, full independent rear suspension. It's just stunning and just so Thank you. sleek and so smooth and so perfect all the way through. Now, what 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 lies under that original dimension hood? Uh, ZZ430. It's a fast burn 383 Chevrolet, 430 horsepower. Let's go look at it. You bet. Wow just as clean in here as it is outside. 
Most, most of the pieces are custom made too, the valve covers, and you'll notice there's no wiring. Yeah. All of the wiring is encased in polished stainless tubing to hide it all. Oh, she's an absolutely beautiful car. I mean, this this really is a showstopper here. Thank you. You know, have you been to Depot Days before? No, first time here. A friend told me about it two days ago up until then. I didn't know where Amboy was. <laughs> and here we are. Well, I sure am glad you brought out this. I it's am a too. beautiful car, Scott. Thanks Thank for bringing this baby. Well, Jim. This is one bright 71 Cutlass. I saw you coming in and it really caught my eye. I don't know what it was. Maybe it said it's screaming orange. <laughs> but man, what a beautiful car. Thank you. Now, have you always been a, an Oldsmobile guy, Cutlass yes. guy? Yes, uh, always had, uh, well, from early on. This is one we bought uh, in real bad shape. We bought it for $500 <laughs> and, and decided that everything that we didn't do to the new one, we could do to this one. <laughs> well, at, at 500 bucks, there couldn't have been much there usable. No, no, not much. But I do love the paint. That is that is a wild orange. What is that? Lamborghini orange. Oh, wow. And then what's the contrast color? I mean, it, uh, this is pewter, GM pewter. And then the pinstripes are uh, thistle. It's a oh, Ford. it's actually purple, uh, isn't purple. it? Yeah. Oh, that looks good, yeah. I also, when you were coming in, I, I could see inside, and you've got a really interesting interior. This, you've got almost, um, theater seating here, yes. you know, so, so your back seat could look over and is this for back seat drivers? Or? Yeah, yeah. So my wife can hit me in the ear. On, but, what, uh, what are they, what are the seats? Uh, the seats are Camaro, Camaro bucket seats. Oh, all four of them? All four of them. Now, you know, your, your instrumentation looks like stock position, dolphin gauges, but kind of stock position, right? Yes, they, uh, that's the original bezel. Really? Uh, we uh, took the wood grain out of it and uh, just and painted it. And that, you know, that's a real subtle stripe, it is, and it is purple. But you've also cleaned the body up somehow. What did you do? Uh, we took the drip rails off. I see. Just to give it a, a more smooth look on the yeah, exterior. It really comes around nice now. I like that. So uh, probably came with a 350 to begin with? Uh, yes, it did. You, uh, you still have the 350? No. no we, uh, we didn't get that with $500. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> that was... What, 500 what do you expect? <laughs> yeah. Let's have a look. What okay. do you have under the hood? Yeah, that's no 350. Oh, what am I looking at? 455. It is an Olds engine. Uh -huh. Oldsmobile, Oldsmobile. 400 trans. I would, and frankly, I would expect nothing less from no. you. No. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> now, is this a car that you you drive? I mean, I saw you driving yes. it in. Yes. So I mean, you built this for you built this for driving and for fun, right? Yes. Man, she's just a beautiful car. And Thank now, you. Now, how far did you come? Uh, 25. 30 miles. So you're, you're in this far. neck of the yes, woods. And you've been to the show before? Every year. Oh, really? You yeah. must like it. I like it. <laughs> it's great. Great people, great cars. Yeah. It's just a wonderful time. There are some interesting things here. I'm, I'm having a good time, too. Yeah. Jim, thanks for bringing this baby out. That Thank is you. That's one loud cutlass, man. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Stay close. We'll check out some more sweet machines at Amboy, Illinois at the Depot Days Car Show. Brought to you by Grundy Worldwide Collector Car Insurance. And by You Coat It, the official floor coating of Eastwood Garage. Welcome back to My Classic Car. Well, Terry, this is a big car. This is one big car. 60 Pontiac Ventura, right? Yes. yes. This is a car that uh, you've got some history with. This has been in your family yes, a while, right? Yes, yes. My grandfather had it uh, and restored it. I've had it since 2004. Uh, and I've done shows ever since then. Wow. And was he a Pontiac guy? Oh, yeah. Yeah, he, he loved his Pontiacs, and for some reason he picked this style, this style of Pontiac because he had two uh, hard tops and a convertible, all, all 60s. All 60s? Yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of distinctive things about this car. One of the things is uh, this windshield is really complex. There's a lot of curves and cuts in it. And how is it looking out of this? I mean, it's, it looks like a lens. It's a little weird when you go off to the one side because it's kind of <laughs> like looking through an aquarium. You just don't know where you're going. But. And the other thing is the, the front end was one year only too, right? Yeah, That's a very yeah. non-Pontiac front end. Yeah, most of your Pontiacs all have the center piece in it. So it's a color coded with the car, but this was a one piece, one piece style on this yeah. car. Obviously not the stock color. I love this teal, but uh, did, you, did you paint it this? What was it originally? It, it was actually a white car originally, and uh, and my grandfather did all the bodywork on it. But uh, right up until the point of paint, and had it had another local type fella paint the car. But he picked out the color. But he picked out the color. Wow. And, Gramps, uh, Gramps I just, pretty cool. Yeah, I just stuck with the color because it's I like it. Oh, I, I love it. And I see you got a little tribute to Grandpa here. Oh, yes, keeping Grandpa's ride alive. That's it's So it's, it's like a riding memorial. That is really cool. Well, the fact that it started out as a white car might explain the maroon interior, right? Right, right. That, that, because that's a little strange, Terry. Yeah, it's a, it's a little uh, different, and I, I get a lot of comments on it, but uh, I don't, 
I don't think nothing of it. I've driven the car like that, so I, I love it the way it is. Now, the dash doesn't look like you touched at all. I mean, no, just like in 60. Oh, yeah. Well, it's wild. The color combination, the maroon, white, teal, weird, but it kind of works. And a major rear window. Oh, yeah. Again, with some fairly complex curves. But the long deck here, you could you know, land a small aircraft there. And I think also 60 only for these this taillight setup, kind of the thrusters. I think uh, the Bonneville, Catalina Venture all had it. I believe so. But I think it was only 60. I really like it. It's very different. Now, this thing's purely Pontiac. Your grandpa was obviously a purely Pontiac oh, guy, yes. so you've oh, yes. surely got a Pontiac engine. Oh, yes, a Pontiac 389. Let's go look. Pontiac 389. Oh, yes. Now that's pretty much the stock engine. You haven't done much. Today. I haven't haven't touched it at all, basically. Just flat black, an air cleaner. Yep. That actually looks like a GTO air cleaner. Yeah, it's it's a newer air cleaner that was sandblasted to look like look like the old. You can't find anything that's not chrome anymore, and I didn't want to go with any chrome inside <laughs> the motor compartment. So there is there is out there is absolutely no, no chrome, chrome in there. <laughs> well, close her up, man. I think this is a great car. I saw you. I saw you rolling in with car seats in the back. Oh yes, that's a family family thing for us. We bring the, I bring the family almost to everywhere I go as far as car shows are concerned. I try and get them involved in it also because I want to be able to maybe pass it along to my son someday. Bringing it up right, and maybe you'll be the grandpa mentioned yeah, eventually. Maybe, maybe someday. <laughs> okay. Thanks a lot, Thank man. You great very much. ride. Thank great you. ride. Oh man, we had a blast at Depot Days here in Amboy, Illinois. This is a great hometown Midwest car show, and definitely one worth checking out. Next week, we'll make our way out to North Dakota for a look at a couple Chip Foose Design Customs. We're talking the Grandmaster and the Cool Air, and they're both drop-dead gorgeous. Plus, we'll check out the latest wheel options for your muscle car. So until our next meeting, remember, honor the timeless classics. I'm Dennis Gage. Happy motoring. Attention, my classic car fans. Go online now to check out the latest selection of DVDs. Just can't get enough MCC? Now you can download your favorite individual episodes of MCC from our website to watch on your computer or upload to your iPod and take them with you. Or you can get all 26 episodes from the 2009 season in one DVD set.